Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Beautiful. Okay, so today, it's uh, not a mic swap or a mic comparison, it's a tube swap today. That's what we're doing. Road K2, uh, this mullet from the 60s, which I bought from America, but it's from England. Uh, I didn't spend too much. I think it was 50 or 60 bucks. I don't know. I uh, bought it from my other tube mic, and it doesn't fit in that mic. That mic, mic takes a uh, 12AX7. This is a, a CC88, I think it is. Different kind. It's like a dual plate or something. I don't know. I don't know much about tubes. Um, I'm hoping this is what they say it is. Came in this cool little box, uh, you know, looking all groovy and old school. I'm hoping that's what it is. There's not really any markings on it. I will find out, definitely will find out very soon <laughs> whether this thing actually works, whether it makes any difference. I'm keen to chuck it in this and just try it because, um, you know, at the moment this is running the Telefunken, which apparently is meant to be one of the great ones for this. But at the same time, I've heard of people running the Mullard. Uh, they said it's quite warm, smooths out some of the top end. Apparently that's what the Telefunken does. But, you know, how much effect is it going to have? I don't know. Uh, a lot of it comes down to what capsule's in the mic and, um, you know, I'm not swapping the capsule out. So, yeah, basically just want to give this one a crack. I'll swap it in. I'll see if it makes any difference. And I'm just rambling at the moment so you have some audio to compare it to so you can switch between this part of the video and the later part when I've swapped it, if it hasn't blown something up, that is. Uh, so here's a little bit of sibilance so you can test the top end, the sizzle up the top. I'll talk a bit louder like this and uh, and then I'll just come in a little bit softer like this so you can tell the difference. And yeah. So why don't we swap this out before I get too crazy in here and um, we'll see what effect it has. Let's give it a go. Hopefully I see you soon with a working K2 and this little tube inside. Let's find out. Right, here we go. This is with the mullet installed. I was a bit nervous. I plugged it in and it didn't do much. But then I remembered you're actually meant to leave tubes sitting powered for a while before you, you know, actually use them. So I don't know if this tone is going to change by tomorrow or the next week. I have no idea. Uh, but it is positive that it's actually working. I can't really tell much difference in my ears. I mean, these headphones are pretty decent, but obviously, you know, once I play it through some speakers, once I start playing with the audio, maybe there's a difference. Maybe it's such a minimal difference that, you know, it's kind of pointless. If it is minimal, though, I mean, what this tells you is don't spend the huge chunk of money on the Telefunken, huge funkin chunk of money. Spend the money on the mullet. But, you know, if there is a difference, a big difference, maybe the Telefunken's worth the extra money. I know the guy paid $180 for this Telefunken. As I said, I spent 50 to 60 on this mullet. And whether it's from the 60s, I have no idea. I'd like to think that it is, but, um, you know, wishful thinking, using vintage gear. Um, but, yeah, otherwise, like, I mean, it sounds great to me. So it kind of doesn't matter when it's from, to be honest. So I'll just add a little bit of sibilance in here so you can hear those high S's. And I'll talk a bit louder like this so you can hear it. And uh, I'll just come down a little bit like this and give you some lower volume close mic stuff. You're listening to the relaxed, easy listening hits of... No, wait a minute. Sorry, I got a little carried away. Okay, so um, leave your comments as usual. Subscribe as usual. If you want the raw audio of this or any of my other sessions, hit me up. I can always flick you the, the WAVs in case you're skeptical of what YouTube does to audio. I still don't really know how much it affects it, but um, anyway, uh, that's been the tube swap. That's about all I can really do. And uh, I might try using it like this for a little while, see how it goes. Leave your comments. Hope to hear from you. And um, till next time, see you later.